welcome to this Nick RP Green speedrun tutorial for Metal Gear Solid Any% PC. In this video we'll be looking at the Medi Room and how to escape from capture. This room is identical for easy, normal, hard and extreme. Before we do get started, I'm Nick RP Green, a streamer, video maker and speedrunner. I stream speedruns of this and other games at twitch.tv forward slash Nick RP Green every Tuesday and Thursday, so if you enjoy this guide, consider checking out the stream. With that, let's get this thing started! We started just outside the door to the Medi Room, reachable by using the vent glitch to go out of bounds in the cell. If you don't know how to get here, check out my previous guide. Run into the loading trigger and immediately hold X to skip the cutscene. You're now in the Medi Room and you still have all of your items rather than being stripped of them, not that you'll be using them. The first step is to get under the bed and wait for a codec call, as with all codec calls, you want to hit select as quickly as possible, and if you listen carefully to the music, you can predict when the call will start. It is of course possible to get a frame perfect answer where you don't hear the ring and you don't see the select prompt. Once you're in the call, mash start to skip it. Just before you receive the call, Johnny the guard will have left the room to go to the toilet. Now normally when he returns, he would fall asleep and you'd have to wait for him to wake up before he then takes you off to Ocelot. However, you can skip this by hiding under the bed, making Johnny think you've escaped and then by revealing yourself before he rushes into the cell. Obviously you want to reveal yourself as quickly as possible and there's two ways of doing this. The way most runners do this is by crawling backwards under the bed and as soon as you enter first person, let go of all controls. Snake will continue to move backwards into a default intrusion mode position. Once here, don't move and keep an eye on these diamonds on the window. When Johnny finishes in the toilet, he will walk across in front of you, and when he has gone past the fourth diamond, hold up and crawl forwards. Just before you crawl out from under the bed, Johnny will trigger you being missing, and you'll then immediately emerge to cancel it. Alternatively, the way I learned to do this, and I then just stuck with, is to get under the bed and then slowly edge forward until you can only see the slightest bottom of the window pane. Any further forward from here and you'd crawl out, so you do need to give yourself plenty of time to correct yourself in case you do crawl out. You can then either use the audio cue of the alert sound or the visual cue of Johnny disappearing behind the window frame to then pop out. The method you use is down to personal preference. The most important thing to note is that you get the timing right and you don't exit too quickly. Doing so means Johnny never triggers that you're missing and he'll fall asleep and you will lose 47 seconds of time. From here there's nothing to do until Johnny's finished patrolling, he'll walk over to the right, then over to the left and then back over to the right. During this time he'll stop and look at you and sometimes he will randomly sneeze. Him sneezing doesn't lose you any time, you don't need to knock or punch to try and stop him from sneezing. Once he gets back over to the right he'll take you to Ocelot. Hold X to skip the two cutscenes, which you will see the first couple of frames of. So once you've seen the second cutscene fade, start mashing select. As soon as the torture loads, you'll immediately submit to it, which yes, I'm sorry folks, you are killing Meryl because it's quicker than surviving another round of torture. Plus, we haven't beaten any bosses yet, so unless you're a god at button mashing, you will not have the health to survive any torture. This cutscene of Ocelot taunting you is unskippable. I hope you can still look at yourself in the mirror, my friend. Once you're back in the cell, you've got some more waiting to do. You can practice your kick cancelling, uh, liquid infinite timing, or you could just vent glitch onto the bed if you like. If you want to learn how to do any of those techniques, you'll need to see some of my other guides.
Eventually, Johnny will start having stomach problems again and run off to the toilet. Then Otacon will appear, so run over to the door and wait for him to reach it. Hold X during this unskippable dialogue to skip the upcoming cutscene, which will then go back into some more unskippable dialogue. During this dialogue, hold L2 so that as soon as it ends, you open the item menu. Hold up to scroll through the menu twice and equip the ketchup. Next lie down on the floor near the door. You don't need to be super close and in fact lying down from where your starting position is is absolutely fine. Press circle to use the catch up and then hold L2 again. As soon as the item menu appears hold up to scroll through the menu twice and equip the level 6 card. Then hit L1 to unequip it. Johnny will come back in and he will notice you thinking that you've had some terrible accident. Don't move. Moving now would show Johnny that it's a trick, he won't open the door and you'll have to wait for the ninja to show up to break the door down instead. Wait for him to get to the door and get up as soon as you hear the lock click. You now have plenty of time to move over to the door which Johnny will then open, triggering alert number 8 of the 11 alerts that we require throughout the run. Immediately choke him to death, being careful to only start mashing square after letting go of a direction, otherwise you'll throw him instead of choking him. It's very important that you do choke him to death. If you throw him and then run away he will give chase, and when you move into the next room a cutscene will play where Johnny's stomach acts up again and he runs off to the toilet. This takes longer than it would be to kill him. As soon as you hear the next snap, tap L1 to re-equip your card key. For some reason, and we don't really know why, this cancels the next snap animation early and saves you about a second. Run into the torture room and grab your gear. If you can, try and aim yourself towards the back of the machine, so Snake has less distance to cover in the cutscene where he runs behind it. Once you've grabbed it, press 9 to equip a chaff. This can also be done during the cutscene. This will speed up Snake's movement as he runs around the back of the machine. Next run straight for the door, and as long as you're not too far south, this gun turret won't hit you. On the other side of the door, just hold up and right, and you'll reach the elevator panel without getting shot by the gun turrets. Remember to press the button twice if you don't hear the elevator on the first press. Jump in, and head down to B2 as you've now got to grab the PSG-1 from the armory, which we'll cover in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out twitch.tv forward slash nickrpgreen for live speedruns and tutorials. Click on next tutorial to move on to the armory and PSG1 pickup guide.